Hey everybody, how's it going? Today we're going to be creating a Blue Note style album art in Adobe Photoshop. So if you enjoy this, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and let's get into it. So I did this challenge on Instagram recently where I designed a bunch of punk albums in the Blue Note style and called it Black Note. And I had a lot of fun doing that and I kind of wanted to share some of the processes on how I do that stuff and recreate an album in this Blue Note style. So today we're going to be doing It Is What It Is by Thundercat. Since he's a dope, arty, jazz artist with a lot of cool experimental stuff, I thought it'd be cool to bring it back into the Blue Note style and go from there. So let's get started. There's a few things that go into the Blue Note style. One of the main things is how the colors are treated. They usually have a kind of gradient map style on the images, a lot of uh, super contrasty colors. And then there's a specific kind of type treatment that Reed Miles kind of patented for their style. There's a use of fonts like Franklin Gothic Standard, News Gothic, Clarendon, and a few other kind of staple typefaces. So those are two of the main things, as well as including the classic blue note logo on the uh, on the cover somewhere. I've been getting started on these when I was doing this series is I was actually using this book I have of a bunch of the records to actually look through and kind of get some inspiration. So I've already kind of done that before recording. So we're going to get right into it. So the thing I want to do first is bring in my main image I'm going to use, which is this one of Thundercat. Kind of scale that up right there. Usually I'll start with uh, solid color on the background too. I think for this one, I'm going to use kind of like a almost, almost white, but still kind of gray like that. And we got to figure out what kind of colors we're going to use to bring through. I'm kind of liking this red look since it's already in incorporated into some of the images. And so from there, I kind of want to start on building out my grid. I think that I want the image to take up about that much of the top portion something around there maybe like that so let's make this bigger and see what we can get from there scale this up the reason i like this image of thundercat is if you look at a lot of these old blue note covers they have very expressive images of the artist usually playing a trumpet sax piano really getting into it and this kind of fits that style what I want to start off by doing first is creating a black and white gradient map and applying it to Thundercat himself. This will make our image uh, black and white as well as make the levels a little more contrasty. The next step there is definitely going to be to mess with the curves. So you really just want to bump up the contrast and get it really, get the blacks really shown through and the white's kind of washed out. And this is kind of dependent on the image. This, this specific S curve isn't going to work for everything, but it's a good start. The way that this head is cut off too actually works out well. Normally I wouldn't like something like that for a traditional style album art. However, Blue Note does a lot of that with their cropping, so it works out great. Then from here, I'm going to want to create another gradient map, which is going to be kind of our uh, color overlay. So let's go into this. If we alt click here and kind of see some values we can pull, I think I just kind of want to do like probably a reddish red and a black or something. So something like that can work. Let's apply it here. And then let's do this black. And then we'll reverse that. Yeah, that's that's getting there. I think we want to do some a little bit more to this. Something like that will probably work. Then let's get our um, color fill back in. We want to apply that right there. We might want to work with the black. Let's see. Yeah, we'll see. We'll, we'll, we'll put our type in and see where we're at from there. If we do a black, I'll probably darken up this background to kind of blend them into it. 
All right, now we're gonna get into the type, which I'm usually gonna start with uh, Franklin Gothic. That's the one I used on most of these covers, and I feel like it's just a classic in this style. Let's move this up. We'll make this black for now. And then I usually did about negative 25 and optical kerning, maybe about negative 20. Some of those are getting a little close. Go in and manually do that. I think how I want this to read is gonna be like this. This part is gonna live somewhere like right about there. And then we wanna use a similar font or a similar uh, type treatment, but it's gonna kinda stack differently. I think we want it to kind of stack evenly, but a lot of times it'll be a little bit offset and kind of asymmetrical, something like that. Let's bring this down to about 200. What I'm gonna do is actually separate these out into different text boxes. All right, now we wanna kinda get our type set up. Usually something like, maybe like this. Let's kind of experiment here. Yeah, I kinda like that. And then one thing that's also very common in these is having people that are credited on the album, whether it be features, producers, and things also listed out, or members of the band. So I like using that convention in this. So we'll do that with like News Gothic probably, and we'll just see uh, some of the, go check in on some of the features and see what we need for that. Who do we got here? Steve Lacey. All right, and then we're gonna wanna get this probably somewhere under here. Go out to the edge of that. Maybe something like that. And then we probably wanna place like the Blue Note logo somewhere in here. Let's grab this logo. Probably gonna need to make this black. We'll just do this for now, make it easy. I think I uh, probably want this. Something like that. All right, cool, cool. That's looking pretty good. I think I want the hollow version of that though. Yeah, I like, I like that version a little bit more. And I also wanna get that color from our red and use it in the type somewhere, I think, for the it is what it is. Let's go in and make sure our type's all lined up correctly. Move that down there. All right, cool. I kind of want all those spaces to be even. So I'm gonna do this kind of only way I know how, lazy way using a rectangle. I usually just make it a contrasting color. There's an easier way to do this. Definitely enlighten me, but sometimes the I don't trust the little grids that the software creates. Liking that. And now, some of the final touches we're gonna do is just throw this into a kind of textured album art mock-up to give it that blue note kind of older feel since a lot of these records are from, you know, 
a while back, especially in this style when Reed Miles was designing there. There we go. I think one thing I want to do is kind of gray this up a little bit and maybe give it a little bit more yellow to it. I don't want it to be too strong. Something like that, maybe. All right, I think we're good to go there. I'm gonna get this saved out real quick. All right, so there we have it. We have a Blue Note style album art with Thundercats album, It Is What It Is. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned a thing or two. And if you wanna get the source files to this, go check out the Patreon. I'll have all them posted on there. And thank you again. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.